Okay, guys. Man, what what a marathon that was. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of recording done at once. There's a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. And we're going to dive right back into it. Oh, boy. This is why I have my... <laughs> But I have my sadness ice cream. Your sadness ice cream. Well, hopefully things won't be too sad. But... I hope not. But we are ready to start again. Uh, so, as you may have recalled, we uh, we finally got our way back into the game. Mm -hmm. It seems like, you know, the uh, the worst of it is over. But Emily seems but mad at us. Emily seems to be mad at us, so we, we should go do something about that. We should go... Uh, See if everything's okay. So we're gonna go up and do that first. I hope things are okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's not okay. Oh. Admittedly, again, have seen it before. It just makes me sad. Hi! Bonjour. So, what happened? I know that you just left in the middle of the raid. We had to cancel the whole thing. We had such a good run. Then you've been missing for a whole week. Well, sort of. You've still been as online, but I couldn't contact you. Why? That's what I want to ask. Some told me that you might have blocked us from contacting you. <gasps> mm -mm. Then what was it? Please, you have to tell me. How? I don't know. Just... Somehow! <sighs> there are so many things I don't know about you. And I can't even properly ask you. It's so frustrating! <sighs> Hello, I guess that's all, all that's left is asking lots of questions. <sighs> Why did you drop out of the raid? Was it a bug? Then what? Did you cancel the raid on purpose? Uh -huh. Then what else is there? She's not very good at asking questions. Olero? What is he doing here? <gasps> yeah, you're back. Oui, she just showed up today. And currently, she to find out exactly what happened. Well, that would be hard to figure out with her speech limitation. I know, I'll just poke her questions till I get a good picture. Does that sounds troublesome. Leah, where are you going? Uh, Leah? What? Is everything all right? What are you doing? Just what exactly happened to you after you left the raid? <gasps> Why? Sacre bleu! What is wrong with you? Why? Uh, how? Uh. What was that? That came out of nowhere. I don't believe this. Has she gone crazy or something? Oh my goodness. He doesn't remember? He doesn't remember anything. What? What's happening? Oh, it should become apparent, though. Yeah? I that, mean, I would uh, better become apparent. <laughs> <laughs> that Lucas, he does not remember what happened, correct? Why? I kind of suspected as much. Sorry, I should have talked with you about it. That Lucas you met in Vermilion Wasteland. He was most likely another Evotar. Huh? In fact, I suspect that was the case for all the players we saw back there. Oh, poopy. Hmm. Don't you want to go back to them? Mm -mm. I see. This situation is rather complicated, but I am sure they still mean well with you. Huh? Maybe give it a bit of time. I am sure you will be able to reconcile eventually. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose we should go to Gaia's Garden next. That is the next major area, north of Autumn's Fall. Our goal is still to reach Safar Ridge, correct? Hmm. Hmm. I really should try to extend your vocabulary at least a little bit more. It'll be difficult, but I know a few words that might help you in situations like this. Hmm. I will get on that while you make your way through Gaia's Garden, all right? He is like best back pocket hacker you could ever have. Sergey is amazing. He's kind. He's supportive. He's, he's <laughs> kind and supportive, and yeah, 
it's like now that we kind of know the whole and truth he's a behind genius. it, um, realizing that you know he he lied to us, but he didn't want he us didn't, to break. <laughs> he didn't want us to break. <laughs> like literally. And uh, it's not just I didn't want to hurt you. It's like. I didn't know what would happen because you would literally shut down. Yeah. I was worried you were literally going to shut down. Yeah. And that is like you like, dying. So. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to make our way back this way. I'm going to pick up a couple things in Rookie Harbor before we go, though. So she at least understands his reasoning, right? So she doesn't mm -hmm. hold it against him anymore, I don't think? No, not at all. No, she... I think things are completely fine between them now. Uh, so we have. She realizes mm -hmm. what was at stake and how he really, really wasn't. Yeah, no, I mean, from her for no she's reason. she's okay now, except now there's like her friends are mad at her and things are really awkward and she doesn't know how to deal with that. So she can't talk. She can't talk. There's no way to explain all of this. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Miss Cheek. Uh, 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 uh. What a button. Howdy, gal. Did you come by to check on how business is going? Mm. Oh, how nice of you. It's going great. Those snakes really hit the bullseye of people's taste buds here. Ah. But I talked a lot to some valued customers. Got some ideas to improve my precious meat even more. How about it, gal? You feeling it? You feeling... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you feeling it in you to help me out again? All right. Ah, uh, words. You're raising the stakes. <laughs> Yeehaw! No, I can count on you, my dear. Did you spell that right? See, I, don't, I wonder if that's supposed to be a pun, or... Is it like calling her a lamb, except my dear? <laughs> I think I think it's that might be intentional. I, I think like it's, it's a venison joke. Me too. Just as last time, it's all about the ingredients. I've done some research on the precious plants of the East. Once again, I'd like to try some new wood in combination with what you already got. So please bring me some old wood from the jungle in the East. Hmm? I also want to experiment with marinating the meat before grilling. That, I would love to get my hand on some honey and a bunch of sweet apples. You should find all that in Autumn's Fall in the East or that jungle I mentioned. Huh? As for the meat, I still got a lot of here. A lot of that here to experiment. Is everything else clear? Mmm. All right, then give it your all. Bye! Yeah, you don't have to keep killing bison because you keep getting thousands of, yep. thousands of pounds of meat. Yes. <laughs> you can't take it all back with you. So. Yes. Oh, the Oregon Trail. Um... <laughs> We also have something that I neglected to do a little earlier, but oh, that's okay. What is that? And that is the infamous dojo quest. What is that? So, players of early access will probably recall that you can go down to the basement here and talk to this guy rather early on oh, to yeah. accept a training quest. He's really well, good. now it's been moved to roughly the midpoint of the game. You can accept it before we do all the stuff in Vermilion, but now is a perfectly good time to do it. That is an awesomely gnarled hand. Mm, a new seeker in my dojo. Mm, great power as within you, I sense. <laughs> Ready to explore the depths of your abilities, you are. Do or do not, there is no try, etc. Yeah. I hope people can hear me. I'm not sitting way up close to it. I think you're doing fine. Just, you know, project. project. Oh, yes, yes. Speak to me to begin, you must. <laughs> Yoda, I am. <laughs> Already expecting you, I am. See? Ready to train you? Yes. <laughs> Ready to train all you? Yes. Mm. Mm. Once begun, endure until the course is finished, you must. Yes, Master Wisely Yoda. made, your decision must be yes. <laughs> A good choice. To the art of balls, open your mind must be. Open to the Tested art of in this balls. training, your precision and perception will be. Mm. Mm -hmm. Floating, you must be for this, yes? Mm. Huh? Flurry not. Trust in your sensei, you must. Mm. Now, begun. Your training has. You must learn what you have learned. Your basic understanding we will test, yes. So yeah, mostly, people have trouble with these. They do? Um, yeah, especially one particular part of this. Okay. Uh, so that's what we're going to show them give us the Give us the tips, babe. Hit all the targets you must. That you can do, can you not? <laughs> well, this one? It's awful straightforward, is what oh. I'm there. Yeah. Oops. It's awful straightforward, that good, is. Good, good, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now I get, but quickly. Hit all targets in 10 seconds, you must. Holy crap. Mm. Woo! 
Good, yes. Now, your understanding of ricochet, show to me. Hit all targets using ricochet, you must. Why did I just get moved here? I got moved here because this is a difficult enough quest. Mm. Uh, with a, you know, getting the bounces exactly right. Um, you need to have more experience than you would just starting off. Yeah, it confuses enough people that um, it, it just made sense to kind of move it a little later so that you've got a chance to be used to the game. It's not really meant to be a tutorial quest. It's, no. it's an advanced technique test. Too easy for you, White Ones. <laughs> this, like, is, uh... this is the one that confuses everyone. Yeah. Hit all targets using ricochet again, you must. Because everyone sees this one up here, and they try to do this. And that's wrong. And that's why this is here. This got put Too in. Too easy. To, to say, no, you're not supposed to do that. What you're supposed to do is this. But uh, this... Whoa. That little path is so hard for people to find. Wow. Um, hence... The path of the... Um, I don't know. Remember, yep. Spearmancer's strength flows from the Force. <laughs> In you, perhaps, a true seeker sleeps. Mm. <laughs> See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your aim next, we must test. Hit the target ten times without missing or throwing too much, you must. This is fun. I like doing this with you. One, one you missed becoming... Ah, that, that's... Lies. One... Constant a seeker's aim must be, even when moving the enemy is. Hit the targets ten times without missing. Again, you must. Am I getting paid Oops. to do it twice? No. That's like a... Missed one. That's a thing. Um, it's a line from the This one, by the way, make sure to... target each of these guys five... No, oh, darn it. Mm -hmm. Each of the guys five times. Um, I need to stop talking and pay attention. <laughs> ah! I keep missing. Student you are, yes. Okay. Mm. I was going to say, don't let my beauty and wits distract you. I know, you're so distracting. <laughs> Your final test now comes. Hit all targets without missing, and within ten seconds you must. There's more than ten. There are twelve targets, you need to hit them in ten seconds. Completed the course you have. But far from over your training is. For now, rest. When ready for your next lesson, speak to me, you will. Mm. All set. And then we have some melee training. Already expecting melee you, I am. Ready to train, train are you? Mm. Once begun and during to the course is finished, you must. Wisely made, your decision must be, yes. Mm. A good choice to the art of the blade, open your mind must be. Tested in this training, your strength will be, yes. Throw, you cannot. Guarding also, disabled will be. Mm -hmm. Now, begun, your training has. Oh, fine. Oh. First, basic understanding we must test, yes? Mm. I'm gonna... Hit all the targets, you must. Simple it is, yes? I'll bring it back, you're busy. Have a lot again. I forget something anyway. Good, yes. Mm. Now again, but quickly. Hit all targets in ten seconds, you must. Just need a dash. There you go. A fine display. Now, multiple enemies at once you must hit. Hit all targets in ten seconds, you must. With a single swing, multiple enemies you must hit. So here, wait for them to cluster. And 
Make sure you get a bunch at once. The basics of you understand, I see. A secret technique. Time it is to teach. Ooh. Strong the last hit of your melee combo is. That leaves you open to counterattack, yes. However, dash before ending a combo you can. Fittingly, dash cancel it is called. Mm. Dash Perform cancel. five dash cancels. By dashing while attacking, you must. Good. Very good. Yeah, basically there you are. You can dash out of any attack. And this means that the final swing of your attack, which is the longest and slows you down the most, you yeah. can just dash out of it and keep going. So that's what this is teaching you here. To quickly dash away or continue attacking, this technique you can use. In this, tested now you will be. Defeat all enemies in 20 seconds using dash cancels you must. Just like that. Well, hold your understanding is. Now begins your final test. Begins Defeat all point. enemies in 15 seconds using less than 30 attacks and at least three dash cancels you must. So they're gonna cluster up. Like that. So just beat them down and make sure to dash. Completed the course you have. But far from over your training is. For now your training is over. What? Far from over your training is. For now your training is over. What? Eventually Why? there's probably going to be more to this quest, but they just couldn't figure out what to put there now. Okay. Fair you must speak to me if you are ready for the next lesson. You don't have any more lessons. You yeah, silly he's person. out of lessons. Mastered my courses you have. Proud I am. Mm. Take this you should and return for more training you can. Yay! We did it! I mean, you did it! I had nothing to do with it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that resolves everything we need to do in Rookie Harbor. So, we're just gonna go ahead, skip up to the northern exit here, and press on. Huzzah! Press on alone into the jungle by ourselves. No, that is so sad. Why do you say it that way? Oh. Well, here we are. Guys got them. Guys got them. A lot of new enemy types here. Funny enough, though, no bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Emily will probably be fine by herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I should not have said that. It's okay, Sergey. It's okay, Sergey. We have this guy here who will sell you some trade items if you need them. Look what I'm wearing. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's see. I just got a hat oh, yeah, with our town's to name on it. <sighs> How are we doing equipment like wise? Oh, got... yeah, we are, we are in good shape. Oh, let's make our way through. Bluehead Spheromancer! Oh no, not you. Any anything but you right now. We finally meet again! Oh my gosh, Go away. Leah. Right. Spheromancer Leah, I see you finally reached Ga Gaia's Garden. Garden. Mm. That means we both now possess the cold and heat element. In other words, it is due time. Spheromancer Leah, I challenge you to our third duel. Do you accept? Oh my gosh. How do you, um, I mean, perfect. Wait, well, why was he going to say he, he was like... Are you okay? No, no, I think he was like expecting her to refuse or something. And he's like, nod. Like, I mean, perfect. Ah. I'll be waiting at the open field over there. Oh my gosh, this guy. That There's guy no way to his insanity. Do not tell me he has been in the stakeout here over all that time. You never know. Kind of sounds like him. Yeah, he does that. What are these people talking about? Oh, the heat. Oh, is it hot on this moon? Well, it's it's a jungle. It's all steamy and humid. Oh, that's a good point. I see you are prepared. Are you ready for the duel? 
All right, then, let's go. Oh, yay! Hey. Oh, I see. Having business with your girl Thank again. Thank goodness. Yarn, you have just arrived in time for some glorious Spheromancer action. We are about to start our third duel. Well, up de doo Oh, thank God. He's just the paragon of sanity. Yeah. Didn't we want to start exploring Gaia's garden today? Yes, right after the duel. It won't take that long. Fine, I'll be cheering from the side then. <laughs> by the way, Leah, all by yourself today? <laughs> I see. Aww. Well then, let's start. PvP activate! Yorn is a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Today we cross paths for a third time, both of us possessing heat and cold. Once again, it is time for me, Apollo, to lead you along the right path, the path of a proper spheromancer, the path of justice. Yeah. Let the duel begin! She's just got trying to get her head in the game. She's, she's, no one understands her. Well done. Now let's all cool down again. Oh yeah, in your face, bro. All right, let's try something else. Gotcha. Yay. Things are getting serious now. Well, they weren't before. Okay. Whatever, bro. you now! Ah, darn it, I was trying to get that off. <laughs> I won't let you in this easily. Uh. Gotcha. This isn't over yet! Looks like it is, though. <laughs> the cats say hi, everybody. See? They're saying hi. I got him on the counter. Beat him up. Got yes. you. Eat it, Apollo. Yeah, you jerk. Hmm. <laughs> This time I was defeated. Spheromancer Lear, you've grown immensely. Again. It was a good duel indeed. Mm. Bye. Hey, Leah, is everything all right with you? You're all by yourself? Honestly, don't look that happy to me. Mm. Hmm. She really doesn't talk much, does she? Yeah, she is fairly shy. Is she now? <laughs> Leah, can you say Apollo for me? Mm. You can't say it, can you? Mm. Uh, do you have issues with your speech module? Mm. All that time? Mm. Mm. How is it even still a thing these days? Poor little thing. No. Well, here's an idea, Leah. Since you're by yourself, do you want to explore the jungle together with us? What? Why? What are you saying? What are you saying, Yorn? Polly, just look at her. She seems so miserable being alone like this. Don't you feel sorry for her? Well, kind of. <laughs> I don't mind her joining us if you're fine with it, Yorn. Well then, what do you say, Leah? Shall we travel together? Aww. <sighs> Good. <laughs> 
Let's create a party then. Oh. <laughs> when I first saw that, I was like, Whoa. Oh, so sweet. What is I... even happening? Shouldn't you be happy? We have a party with two Spheromancers now. Right. Now that you mention it, two Spheromancers and a Quadrigard. Quite the noble party indeed. There you go. <laughs> so, what's next? Let's see. Our noble band just entered the realm of Gaia's Garden. Indeed, what else there... What else is there to do than seek the human settlement hidden within this wilderness? Basin Keep! The towering fortress of the jungle! This shall be our destination! <laughs> I Ooh. see. Let's go, Leah. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, one of our cats wants attention, so you might hear her meowing, possibly. Yep. I'm never quite sure what gets what can get picked up on here. Oh, yeah, like... the cats get picked up. You've noticed it in the past. Yeah. So... <laughs> So, a city in the middle of the jungle. Yes, and a giant, a giant of a city at that. In the jungle. Indeed, human ingenuity shaped this hot spot of civilization amid this hostile environment. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Uh, it's fun meeting, it's fun actually being with different people. I know. This is, I mean, it's interesting now. It really is. Oh, I can see it now. Yes, Basin Keep and all its glory is towering in front of Beautiful us. Beautiful bridge. <gasps> I think it's been a long time since I saw it, but it's really pretty. Here we are. Wow. Ooh, I like the vaguely, um... Oh, gosh, I can't think of what it's called now. Uh, Blade Runner-esque. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah definitely. Sort of. I mean, kinda kind has of. A, well, it's very cyberpunkish, yeah. uh, and Blade Runner is definitely sort of the... It's the neon signs the forefather and kind of, of a... Anyway. More neutral, old-school yeah. city-looking environment. Oh, no joke. That's a big city. Basin Keep, bustling city of the jungle, a place full of opportunity, yet also with severe lack of justice. Also, I don't like the rain. Yes, the rain. The poor folks of this city have to suffer through it all year long. Yes. Why? They say it is the jungle's answer to this iron scar amidst its sea of trees. Bummer. Bummer. So, what now? First, there is a dire need to prepare for all the dangers of this wilderness. Fortunately, we will find lots of expertly crafted goods in this trading hotspot. And of course, we shall fulfill our seeker's duty and visit the quest hub to the north. <laughs> of course. Indeed. Well, let's do a little quest pickup while we're in here. I need to put on my best oogie boogie for this. Good evening, tiny <laughs> one. Hi. I am the boozy man. I'm doing business in this town, you really? see. Really? Really? And I just happen to be looking for some kind of souls to help me. I, I'm going to do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm about to start a new attraction in but this town. But they said there weren't any bugs in the jungle, he lied. But alas, I'm in grave trouble. What am I missing? What I'm missing is Jack's flake. It's no. something you can only find outside in the jungle, a place I am unable to visit. Why? Well, I got my reasons, and they're very legitimate. <laughs> being a southern... Being a southern lawyer wrapped in a giant burlap sack, you understand what I mean. <laughs> So do you have some free time to help big old me? <laughs> I'm glad you liked yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Terrific. You can collect Jack's flame from those Jack on fire. They wander oh. about the infested jungle to the northeast. I require those flames. They are essential for decoration. Oh. Well then, let's work together to create the next big thing of Basin Geek. Bye. No weirdo. <laughs> She's almost impossible. Their cats are almost impossible to attract you. A lot ahead. of great. Is there a Sally here? There is not a Sally here. Uh, really? There's not even a reference to Sally? Oh, I here. mean. Uh. Hi. Yeah, what is it? Seeker, I assume. You're not here to waste my time, are you? Mm -mm. Good, because that's already getting eaten by this damn city as is. Don't need no smart-ass adventurers doing the same. And since we're already talking, are you here to help with one of those time-consuming problems plaguing Basin Keep? Why not? Hostage situation. What? They're just slapping us with a hostage situation? Is this those gangsters again? Uh, this is something else, actually. We'll probably do this one. Are they one. the imagined gangsters? We'll probably do this one first. No, like I made them up. No, I no. Them. Just, just wait. Okay. Now, there's a start for a brighter day. Hope we can keep it that way. Listen, Seeker, we got a volatile situation at hand in our western district. 
An organized mob of armed birds has stormed an office building from the air and taken hostages. Armed birds, you say, huh? Yes, it's a mess. We still don't know their demands and exact numbers. I hate outsourcing matters of public security, but we also we got no choice here. Also, track-related messes are a seeker's specialty, right? Hmm. How? Look, there's no use debating this now. Better talk to our officer on site and see that you make yourself useful. The Clipson Tower in the northeastern part of uh, the northern part of our western district. Now get moving. Bye. Man, the birds just flying in and taking over like a civic building. That just sounds exactly yeah. like Welcome to Night Vale. By this the way, is exactly something that would happen there. Don't miss this chest back here. Oh. Can't get it right now, but it's there. Well hidden. Oh, good. All right. And then we've got this girl. Hey there, you're a seeker, aren't you? Mm, cool hair. Great, that's what I needed. No, really, we do have an urgent need for a seeker here. Mm. Our recent progress led us to some areas with some heavy critter concentration, so we need some additional muscle. Well, not just muscle, also smarts and specialized seeker skills. Sounds like just your thing? Like, oh, she just keeps changing her mind. It's like, well, not just that. Mm. Neat. And just like the briefing says, you don't need to, you won't be needing to do all the work by hand. The network of defensive turrets is already on site. State of the art, almost indestructible and easy to use. Mm. <laughs> if you are connected to Trackwalker, that is, someone failed to notice that when ordering those truck, the someone failed to notice that when ordering a truckload of those things. <laughs> it's the main reason we need you at all, Seeker. No offense. Mm. Anyway, enter the cave in the back, calm backyard of Gaia's garden. Look at the details there. Bye. She's like, oh, these stupid quests. Stupid these quests. Dumb people just unloading their their honey do list on me. Indeed. That's just what you do in games, though. That's just how NPCs do. It is how the NPCs do. Hi. Ooh, he's ah, cool Asika. Such a pleasant sight. Welcome to our snug little retreat. You know, I kind of imagine him. Mm -hmm. I imagine him being that rapper from Faithless. Doesn't uh, he just look kind of cool? And he educated? looks really cool. And he could, he could, you could imagine him being an underground yeah. rapper. Yeah. <laughs> no, he probably does a thing on the side. I'm sure. I'm sure we, he does like an open mic night yeah. or something. We guys gardeners strive to protect the balance and purity of this wonderful habitat that is guys garden. Ooh. Of course, with humanity always expanding, this has become both more and more important and challenging. Having one as distinguished as a seeker extend their hand to aid us can make a vast difference. Ooh. In fact, just now we're in need of someone to protect one of ours during a screening of local water sources. Mm -hmm. Do you feel ready to assist us and our mission? Yeah. Sure. Mm. Wonderful. The investigation was long overdue because of that dangerous location. Mm -hmm. Meet up with the gardener Lind at the Royal Grove. She'll be waiting near the teleporter. Keep her safe so she can work for the well-being of our environment. Mm. Bye. She doesn't look very friendly when she says that. I never quite know how to answer it. Ah, she's just like, bye. Bye. So long. So long. Let's clear up this side of town. We have... So you're telling me the entire production line is lost and we can't do anything? Sir, we've already worked with the authorities, but they lost the trail and currently do not have the personnel to intensify the investigations. Aww. Our clients are relying on our cooling technology that got stolen, and I'm supposed to just calm down and wait? Yes, sir, we understand your displeasure. We even requested the help of a seeker to solve this. Hi? What is it, young woman? Is it not obvious we're having an important meeting right now? Yeah. Well, actually, you are a seeker, am I correct? My, what wonderful timing. <laughs> you can read her if you want, oh. I'm sorry. My, what wonderful timing. Sir, this young woman would have the perfect qualifications to solve your predicament. Ah, oh, has she, though? I'm not entirely convinced by these New Age seeker folk. Uh, in any case, sir, she might be our best chance to get your machines back in time. So, seeker, are you interested in helping us? Maybe if you're nice to me. Hmm. Wonderful. Then allow me to give you a briefing on the situation. This gentleman is Mr. Tony Frigo, of head of Frigo Frost and Fire, producer of the finest domestic appliances on Shadoot. Hi, Leah. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, go ahead. Enough flattery. I'm more interested to see what your enthusiasm is actually worth, Seeker. Mm -hmm. An entire line of powerful cooling machines has been robbed from our hands. Find them, and I'll see to it you're properly rewarded. 
Hmm. Indeed. When the authorities were investigating, they lost the lead on old timber in the eastern guy's garden. Maybe your specialized secret senses can find some traces that lead to the robber's hideout. Please be vigilant. Hmm. Bye. Cool. So that's main quest in the area, and now we're going to start doing them. The basic idea is we don't have time to go looking for a bunch of chests right now. we gotta, we got to prioritize doing stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to pick up him too. Oh. Mm. Mm. Huh. Leah, here. Hi! <laughs> you did it once again, young lady. Uh, maybe I should see a doctor about my ears. <laughs> Are you up for another round of finding a broken piece of equipment? Oh. Great. I was just about to skim through these books. The player told me there's a hidden text here that leads to the next one. This time we're searching for a broken deck. Seems to be the default weapon of Hexacast, a deck of cards. Ooh. Why not help me? You players can simply use our Seeker Sense, or whatever it was called. It does come in handy for an old man like me. Mm. Anyway, are you ready? What? Thanks, kid. Only two more to go. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Judging from the last couple of pieces, this one should be hidden somewhere in Guy's garden, right? Oh. Well, let's just get started searching through these books. If you find something of use, you can go ahead and look for it. You know I'm too old for this shingle. For this shingle? <laughs> kitty. There's a very nice kitty hanging out. Archaeologists there. once found a stone tablet near the entrance to the Grand Criscaggio. On this tablet, a riddle was written. Those who seek the lost shrine must go to the most royal of coverts, behind a tree. The latter part was already too old to read. Below the text, a strange sequence of arrows was written too. Researchers assume the shrine is to be found in the fittingly named area, the Royal Grove. Hmm. Hmm. Royal Grove, eh? We'll keep that one in mind. Uh, I'm not doing that yet. We're probably not getting to that this time. Probably will oh, be able to do that. Gifting for fun. What is that one? That's the that's the holiday quest that we still can't finish because we don't have an update on it yet. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. You know, it's it's gonna be done. It's just sitting there and our thing is no big yeah. deal. All right. Time for some quests. Hi. Welcome, Seeker. The chief told me we would get some qualified support. Let's hope you're up for it. The situation here is highly volatile. Criminals of the violent Papa Gang have stormed the building and taken hostages. We assume they have demands of some sort, but we can't make any sense of their squawking. This is where you come in, Seeker. Go in there and try to negotiate with them to keep the hostages safe. Mm -hmm. Try to use your fancy Seeker eloquence to resolve it peacefully. Don't traumatize those civilians. Yeah. But if all else fails, at least free the hostages before engaging in a wild shootout. Bazin Keep is counting on you. Bye. Yes. My wonderful diplomatic skills with all of the many words Indeed. I can say. Indeed. Demanding squawking. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Annoyed squawking. Um, why? Aggressive squawking. Uh-oh. Uh, mm. Well, that didn't go too well. Nope. What, is, do you know what you're supposed to do? You really can do anything. Your demands are stupid! Killing these guys. Why are these birds here? Why, why can't anybody talk to them? Uh, cause they're birds. Yeah, but... I feel like you should be able to talk to them. Threatening bird noises! Uh -oh. oh, please, Miss Seeker, free me from this scoundrel so I can get home safely! <sighs> oh. There we are. We did it. Apparently, NPCs with more refined communicative recognition have been implemented at this point. What? It is a shame your vocabulary cannot match those tasks. Mm -hmm. Aww. <sighs> Poor guy, he's still working on it. He's like, man, NPCs are doing better than this. Right? I accidentally killed one. You killed an NPC? Yeah. Well, they were back over no. on the other side, and I think I got an accidental bounce shot. You monster.
monster. What is that? What's gonna happen if you kill one of them? Uh, I can't kill another one. You're getting reprimanded, or? Uh, it's okay as long as I keep enough people alive. Uh, oh, good. All right. Two out of three ain't bad. Still. There we go. Yeah. So no big, no big deal. Bunch of people in here. Whoa. Are we ever gonna find out what these poor birds want? Is it liberty? Legality? Eternity, perhaps? Second wave of them coming down here now. Keeping all those civilians alive. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make it through. We just need to be careful. Yikes. Oh no. You did it again! <gasps> no. No. Ah. Uh oh. Yeah, they're I don't know, maybe they made this a little harder, because I didn't remember this actually being this hard to get through this. Careful about about these guys. Yeah, that's the whole point. I, I yeah. would imagine. I think they might have made this a little harder because uh, oh. I remember not having yeah, too much trouble with it. Them. No, it's fine. It sh it should have been harder than it was because it was actually a little too easy. Maybe these guys are from the tiki room and they're just tired of singing the same song every day and they want things to change. Oh, sh Oh, no. I got him in the back. All right, well, at least we're getting levels off of this. <laughs> oh, well, All right. Well, that was lucky. Are you trying melons? 
Come on. Yeah, they're show they're throwing like melons at me. <laughs> I'm thinking about like the dude that smashes melons with a sledgehammer. All right. Oh, well, we didn't we didn't lose anyone there. That's oh, good. Thank goodness. Need to need to be careful about shooting in that direction. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Come on down here. Instanced, I guess, in the game. So where Apollo and Yorn are also having their own standoff with the hostages. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably so. Alright. It's like, where do they go? Come on down here. All right. Still doing fine. Let's get both of you out of here. Get out of my way, you guys. All set. And then there's more. No hostages this time, though. Now it's just an all-out brawl. You can kill all <sighs> these guys. No worries. <clears throat> yep. They are also silent enemies, except for their squad. Ouch. mess up this fight, so we're just going to... a lot of noise in there. I assume you couldn't solve it peacefully? Uh -uh. That's a shame. Would have made our reports easier and saved a lot of trouble with the press. Uh. In any case, you cleared up the situation and prevented serious damage. We can count that as a win. I'll call the Sarge and give him a brief report. Go back to the HQ to get your reward. Bye! Cool. Yay! He's like, dang it. Wish you wouldn't have killed him. It would have saved his paperwork. He's like, uh... I'm gonna take a brief visit you know? inside here. Up to the mayor's office. Oh. oh, Mr. Mayor. Greeting, Seeker. Do you have any business with the mayor? Uh, mm. Are you sure? Do you perhaps want to proceed along the track of the agents? Mm. And you don't need to see the mayor. Your next task as Seekers is to visit the temples in the north of Gaia's Garden. All Seekers are free to enter those dungeons, so no permission required. Ooh. Maybe also tell your fellow Seekers they don't have to show up here. They just keep doing it. <laughs> Why would they even want to see the mayor anyway? It's not like he has any business with the track, right? Ugh. Course of habit, I suppose. Yes. It seems the mayor of this town doesn't want to be involved in any of the Seeker's business. She's, she's like, he's also kind of boring. <laughs> he's an old guy. He's kind of boring. Alright. Oh yeah, we have a chest up here. So... Make sure to get around here and pick that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything cross cody that I could like knit or like crochet that? That's an interesting idea. I don't know. 
I could totally do Amikurumi horns at some point. <laughs> That'd be cute. That'd be really cute. I don't have any gray right now. Um. Though. Oh. Oops. <laughs> You do. I, I, I went up the level I didn't need to go. Okay. It's like, what, what am I doing? Uh, we're gonna make a note that there's a chest up uh, here. We can't get to it yet. Noted. There is an item shop right here. It has a second floor. Oh, this is fun. I'm sorry, dear customer. I'm sorry, dear customer. Umbrella Inc. is currently experiencing a Sort of outbreak. Huh? In order to avoid any residents from getting even for having a bad time, we've closed off access to the third floor. <laughs> what? Infected? It's a Resident Evil joke. Oh. Um, We're gonna have a bad time. That sounds like it's also from... Yeah, well, it's kind of, but that's definitely a Resident Evil yeah. reference. Because okay. um, Umbrella Incorporated. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything that would be a good upgrade for us? I think we'll wait on it. You got no gear. Whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. He's a funny. Yeah, we're gonna wait on on upgrading though. We'll get we'll get to it, and I think we're probably fine with what we have right now. Uh, right. I meant to go over here and collect a last bit on this side. Okay. We've got... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Sorry, lady. I ain't selling stuff to Seekers unless the boss tells me to. Huh? These are these are the Mafia, by the way. Oh. You want me to do so it? So, if, like... if you want to read this more as a mall, then yeah. that's oh, yeah. the way to do it. Sorry, lady. I ain't selling stuff to Seekers unless the boss tells me to. Huh? There you go. There we go. That's how you want to do that. I do. I thank you for telling me. I would have yes. just done her as a boring regular voice. This is a private party, Seeker. You better run off fast. Uh, Unless you got yourself a pass, of course. Huh? Hmm. I'm sure you want to get into... Can't do this for Dad. Ain't no fighting in me. <laughs> oh, maybe I can't pick that one up yet. Um, they might have oh. changed the... There is a quest that he offers. Um, but... It might be that the uh, requirements for picking it up need you to have done something first. Which is cool, because... Ooh, clear umbrella! Yeah. That's a reference. Yeah. The, 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 the handle isn't lit up, yeah. but that's okay. And we can't actually get to this chest down here yet. Or that chest down there yet. But that is all the chests that are in Basin Keep. Wow. Is there like six? There are six chests. Oh. Oh. Alright, we're gonna take a trip down here and turn in our quest from the uh, from the guard. Oops, sorry. Hi! Ah, don't give me that smug face, Seeker. You stirred up a lot of trouble with your little shootout. Hmm? Messing up the negotiations, starting an office brawl around the hostages. We got traumatized white collars and the press slamming our ears about your methods. You're a loose cannon seeker. <sighs> Still, I can't deny that you got the results. The problem has been resolved without major injuries, except for that one person we got killed. Ah! Oh, so you did get one person killed? Well, yeah, early on. <laughs> All right, I'll let your methods slide this time. Take your reward and stay in touch. Bye. You can just pretend like they were unconscious, and they're going to be okay. Sleeping bags! Those were sleeping bags! What? Sorry, the, that reference is a bit oblique. They took them away in body bags. Sleeping bags! What's that from? It's from Venture Brothers. Oh. Um, Mecha Shiva! Yeah, that one. That's my favorite reference. Um, okay, we're going to take a trip out and start exploring the area here. Now, we're not going to do a whole lot of direct exploration. We're just going to go where we need to go. We're going to... Do we need to explore ever? Or? Yes. And we'll do that next time, but Gaia's Garden is big. Mm -hmm. It's really big, guys. Like, it's the largest area. Um, yeah. You know, we've started down here. This whole thing extends, like, all the way up around oh here. They want gosh. us to go up here, and then there's a whole loop over here. Big map. Wow. The thing is, uh, in order to properly explore it, um, you really need to get, um, let me see if I can point one of these out. 
the chest up there. Um, you really need to get one of the elemental powers from the temple. Wow. Until you've done that, uh, like half, yeah, you need these little glowy marks right here. Until you've gotten that power, um, about half of the area is locked off. But you look at the size of that trunk. As expected of a jungle, the trees can grow to an astonishing size. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. So, we're not going to worry too likes. much about the area yet. Partly for time and partly because it just makes sense to do a whole circuit of collection at once. Mm. Um, but you're the man with the plan. I am the man with the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, let me think about my approach, though. I'm trying to decide, I think, for time's sake, we want to focus on maybe one of these quests, okay. and not all of these quests. We don't um, want to bite off too much. We don't want to bite off too much, and there's... I want to make sure that we get the main stuff out of the way, and there'll be a little bit more time to clean up quests uh, in, the, in the upcoming episodes. So we're going to start with that. You got the tying greens there. But we're going to approach the the tree up here first. Mm -hmm. Been walking around for some time now. Where's the temple? We should be very close. Said that guy. Oh, those parrots. It's actually right up here. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Whoa. Please calm down. Stand down. Humans have poisoned Great Jungle. No more. We block entrance for all to sa save jungle. This is too much for a single guard. Whoa. I'm very sorry, Seeker, but as you can see, we have a situation here. The Shad formed a wall and blocked the path to Grand Crest Kajo and its trials, including our power plant. Mm -hmm. They let no one through and are clearly agitated. I fear as long as they'll be in this way, they'll be this way. No Seeker can progress any further. To be honest, I'm not sure what to do. What we need here is an official statement from our mayor. I have yet to receive any instructions concerning this whole mess. Hmm? Seeker, it would be a huge help if you could send word to the mayor. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. I'll try and hold the fort here. It seems that fate won't let us reach the temples just yet. Yep. Let us quickly seek an addition with the mayor before this con conflict escalates any further. Good idea. So, back to the city again? Hmm. <laughs> She's like, uh... These things, which we haven't found yet. Right up here is another cave. And we'll also, oh boy. Television. Yeah, it's a cooling thing. Man, those electric cats don't mess around. They don't. They're like peek amuse. Peek amuse. Yep, gotta deal with them. Peek amuse. And we've got. This kind of challenge right here. Mm hmm. In the interest of uh, keeping this simple, mm -hmm. we're not going to worry about this chest yet. Okay. We will come back to it later when we do our cleanup. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I forgot again. Mm 
Ah! Don't usually have this much trouble with these jumbo puzzles. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we are. Huh. It's a snowman. Snowman? Oh, wearing a hula skirt? And, oh, I have seen everything. And they're in a fight. Check that out. Snowman and the cats, huh? It's like a, it's like a Chiquita banana, um... Oh, gosh. I'm forgetting the name of the actual woman. That's weird. Cats versus the Hula Snowman. That is a weird title of a B movie that never was made. The Electric Cats versus the Snowman. Handling that. Yay, good. And then over here, we create ourselves a little path. All right, so. This is just run. <laughs> what? Get across that. And then once we're over here, oh that's right, once we're over here, we can melt that, leap across that, and get that up there, and then make our way up here. So he's going to run up this direction. Snowman, the evil snowman. Oh, I can't think of her name, but she's adorable. She's a... I need to look it up, but it's going to me. I love her. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, I feel terrible. So yeah, this fight is like super chaotic because you've got like... Mm. All the cats and the snowmen kind of fighting each other, and the best way to handle it is actually to let them take care of each other. Really? So they'll take it. They'll take each other. Just they will. They will out. take each other out. Oh. And that's the way that you handle that fight. I meant Carmen Miranda, by the way. Yeah. The snowmen are dressed up like Carmen Miranda. <laughs> yeah, they've kind of got a, a Hawaiian theme going they've on. They've got like the fancy hat, the, yeah. the fruit hats, fancy skirt. Well, so they're like they're like snowman tourists visiting the jungle, but they need all the cooling equipment so that they can not melt. Oh, that's so. Funny. Hey, this isn't working. Hmm. There's no way to break that icy wall alone. Report back to Mrs. Basu and Pays and Keep. Oh boy, gonna need some help, huh? Gonna need some help. Uh, Royal Grove. Calm backyard. Uh, let's see, what's her fastest way back out of here? In fact, um, here we are. Oh, that's right, it's just down here. There we are. Alright, so that's 
us finishing that up. Mm -hmm. I like what snowmen tourists make me think of Olaf. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> he likes the he summer. He likes the summer. Yeah. He's a snowman. He'll appreciate the nice, warm, sunny day. Yeah, he's a lot friendlier than those guys. I know. I don't think they're related. I think if he saw what they were doing, he'd be scandalized. He probably would be. Because he's a nice old He's a nice snowman. I like Olaf. He's adorable. Oh no, it's raining again. Yes, rain is all too common for this climate. Too bad I'm losing a friend. What? What? Ah, uh, never mind. What? Hmm? What does he mean? What's he talking about? I'm actually not sure. They actually find out. I actually don't know. We've they've added a bunch of dialogue in here. Really? Yep. Whoa! I thought that was one of ours, but they are both asleep. Nope, that's lots of dead trees here. Woodcutters at work. I believe those trees merely died of old age. <laughs> what do you Humankind know? quickly learned that lumbering this forest will lead to fierce counter reactions of the track. <laughs> Scary. Oh my gosh. Like, every time you play this, and I don't oh, know Oh, yeah, the cats. Are. See, the cats, they'll actually come up to you and snuggle, which is fun, but they do damage. Aww, Aww kitties. Aww. That's adorable. That's very true to life. You try to give cats love, sometimes they want it back, but they will also hurt you in the process. Yeah, it's true. All right, so we're going to make our way, as you see, we've kind of completed this whole main loop. And there's more stuff off on the sides that you can get to from here. But it's true. Like, things. every time I hear those cats, I always think of their R's for a second. And yeah. I'm like, oh, nope. They... Or I'm like, was that... Or I have headphones on, so I'm like, was mm -hmm. that one of the cats? And you're like, nope, that was the game. And I'm like, oh, darn electric cats. <laughs> Confusing the heck out of me. All right. So, easy to miss, but you saw someone run into the main quest hub. Oh. We're going to go check on that in a second, but let's turn this guy in first. We should stop at the ramen, the ramen hut. The ramen? Oh, oh the, the ramen like, hut. Like, like the one in Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if they have one. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back, Seeker. Have you made progress on your assignment? Mm hmm. We, uh... I see. So you managed to secure only some of the machines before that criminal slow creature blocked your way. Hmm, amazing she got all of that from one word. Hmm. An aberrant Corrado from the Bergen Trail and invading Gaia's garden to steal cooling devices? This is outrageous. Indeed, and it presents a threat even beyond this robbery once it properly settles down. Not on my watch. I'll instruct my best technicians to find a way through that icy blockade. Seeker, you've proven your worth. I hope you'll return and finish this job once preparations are ripe. Hmm. S sir, how noble of you. Well, Seeker, I hope you'll not let us down. Please return to us in the future. Cool. Haha, ha, I made a pun. <laughs> so there we go with that. Yay. They're going to help us out, I guess, right? Yep, that's the idea. Well, that's good. I'm going to go up in here. My goodness. Oh. Her again. Huh. Oh, that was rude. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, you didn't watch. She just barged in. Oh. That's so, the lion? Yeah, so... This is this is you. Ah, yes. You have to listen to me, Narset. How should I do her voice? You should do her... Eloquent. She's not like a normal chad. Right. You have to listen to me, Mayor Sul Sullivan. You again. If you want to speak to me, please make an appointment. This is an emergency. Things are about to escalate. I'm so sorry, sir. She just burst, it, burst in. It's okay, Penny. This seems important. You can go. Uh, yes, sir. All right, so what is it? The village of Verda is currently under attack by dangerous creatures. We've already lost the entire north of the village. Oh, I'm very sad to hear that, but how does this concern us in any way? You see, the Shadow are blaming the power plant. Well, of course, they always do, and I always tell them the same thing. The power plant is fine. We make sure it's all in perfect harmony with your oh-so-holy track. 
please listen. Things are not the same. We are desperate. The Shad now started a protest in front of the Grand... Whoa. Chris Kajo. The Grand Chris Kajo as we speak. They want to stop the power plants and are ready to use force. What? You Shad want to use force with sticks and stones? Don't make me laugh. I know you hold little respect for us, but I beseech you, don't let this end in a bloodbath. What choice do I have? You know, as well as I do, we depend on the power plant. We can't simply turn it off. I am very much aware. What you can do is help us free the village from those creatures. If you do, things might calm down again. A few of your guards should suffice. You wild people come around with your petty problems and I'm supposed to spare some guards for you? Speaking of annoyances, what's that seeker doing back there? Hi? Oh, I didn't even see you there. Well, isn't this perfect? If you need somebody to deal with your creatures, I'm sure a seeker like this will do the job. Uh. If you want to access the Dungeon of the North, it's in your interest to resolve this dispute quickly, right? Uh. Please, seeker, we're in dire need of any help. I'm trying to make her sound kind of like I do the other Shad, yeah. except that she knows yeah, she's, uh, common speak better. Yeah, she does. And we'll, we'll find out more about why that is. Thank you so much. Great, this settles it. The Seeker can do her thing, and everybody will be happy. Uh, I now see you hold little respect for Seekers as well. My job here is to run a city in the middle of a dense jungle. I don't have time for wild people and adventurers. You two do what you must to solve your problems, and make sure you free the passage to the power plant soon, or I will become another problem for you. Now, if you'd please excuse me. He's kind of a jerk. Meet me outside, Seeker. I'll tell you everything I know. I've had enough of his arrogance. Mm. Mm. Such arrogance! This mayor encapsulates himself in his own world, blocking off all outside issues. Indeed, very much like his iron-walled city. <laughs> Symbolism! <laughs> I love Apollo, too. He's, he's just so bombastic. I know. And when you become friends with him, he reminds me of that guy who's like the justice guy and like, uh -huh. um... You know, play Chronicles 2? Uh. Remember? Who's like, Justice! Justice! I forget. I'm, I'm trying to remember, like, actually. It's been he's just this hunky guy that's talking about, like, friendship and. Are you talking about Vandom? Loyalty and. I don't know his name. Um, because he's not really like that. I'm, I'm trying I don't to. Remember. Anyway. Uh, oh, this sorry, is you. sorry. Seeker, over here! Thank you for helping us. The tension between humans and Shad around here is, is as bad as it is. Wait, what? Did I read that right? As bad as it is. As bad as it is. It really doesn't help us if the mayor is acting so selfish. Hmm. Where are my manners? I am Katara. Huh. What? Katara. Why? Like from Avatar? Like from Avatar. Oh. <laughs> Leah, hi! I was born in Verdeville, a small village in the southeast of Gaia's Garden. But I spent a large amount of time with humans. Ooh. Anyway, let's not dwell for too long. My village is in danger. You see, our village got attacked by strange black cats. They've already pushed us out of the north side. It is because of this power plant. It is disrupting the ancient track and is punishing us for it. Hmm. And my people are not happy. They are ready to fight, and I fear the worst if we do not do something. I am sure we can drive these beasts away with... The sh uh, sorry. I'm sure if we can drive these beasts away, the Shad will calm down. But we have to act fast. Let's first meet in Verdeville. There is a landmark in the eastern part of the village. As said, the village is in the southeast of the jungle. The humans put up way markers, so it should be easy to find. Mm. Our journey shall continue. Verdeville, our next destination. Verdeville, Verdeville. Let's go. <laughs> Verdeville, <laughs> Verdeville. Oh, sorry, I have to get up. Oh. All right. Get my water cup. All right, so we're going to make our way around here. Try to return as quickly as you can, honey. We're yep, getting into it's right here. some stories. Oh, there you go. It was literally. Oh, like I, I, didn't right were, I didn't know where you were going. <laughs> oh, you punched the cat. I did not punch the cat. The cat walked oh, didn't into want me. It, you? Oh. The cat was like. You know what? I'll have to say that is something cats yeah. like to do. They just walk into your feet, and you're like, ah. Ah, here's the village. Indeed, far off from Basin Keep. This tribe is not on friendly terms with humankind. No, humanity, humankind. Human, humankind. Yeah. It's trying to say I agree. humanity. Trust for... me, I know. Yeah. I, I flub so many of these lines. I am a flubber. You, how should you learn? Uh, similar to the other elders. Human. 
I know you mean no harm, but please leave Shad alone. You broke trust, and now my people want war. Huh? Hmm. That's not good. What is Seeker doing here? She, she is just human. human. Yeah. Human, just human. They come into jungle filled with dreams and aspiration. Hmm. They want it all and try to use power of ancients, the track, power of technology. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this place is neat. These shads are experts in wooden construction. Even with the fierce weather of the jungle, these bridges are said to remain stable for many years. Legit. Amazing. He's Here we cool. are. Here we go. You've come! Quick, follow me! What if we didn't come? That'd be like the biggest, biggest douche move ever. Yeah, indeed. <sighs> Hello again. Hi. This is the northern part of the village. As you will see, the beasts have already come this far. Wow. These are the black cats that have taken over our village. We call them wick cats. Huh? Goth cats. Goth cats. <laughs> But these are only a few. The real threat is further ahead in the chief's den. However, there is no way the other shad will let you through. Hmm. The villagers are dead set on shutting down the power plant. They will deny any other kind of outside help. Yeah. Yes, I know it's cumbersome. It's the same kind of stubbornness I know from a certain someone. <laughs> anyway, that means we have to help them in a sneaky way. And I have a plan. We see this house over there. This is my home. It's now overrun by those creatures, but it has a valuable treasure. One that lets us sneak our way around those guards. Huh? All we need is to get it. This is where you come in. You need to go into my house and grab my old stone key. You think you can do that? Hmm. Great! I leave it up to you- Ugh. Sorry, yawn grabbed me. I leave it up to you if you want to get rid of the cats or not. The more are gone, the happier they will be, I imagine. But they are very aggressive, so be careful. Mm. Okay, let's open these ropes so you can jump down from here. Sally, there is no other way in. Alright, this did the trick. Once you got the key, let's meet at Verdeville Landmark. Good luck, and may the Kreese Kajo be with you. So, we only have to get the key. We don't have to fight those kittens, right? We don't have to. Still, those wickets are a true threat to those villagers. Aw, oh, they're so cute, though. Aw, <laughs> oh, he's a softie. So the cats have kind of a, a magnetic effect on them. Hmm. They will pull you in. Um... Yeah, they'll pull you at them. They're just like they're not ragged. Yeah. So, kind of try to keep your distance, uh, and you won't have to fight it too much. Um, I wonder why, because they're not magnetic or anything. Well, it's... Oh. Whoa. Oops. What was that? Uh, it's, it's the nature of shock. Electricity and magnetism. Mm. Ah, okay. So there is the stone key. What is, is there, like, a way to do this or, like, do a pacifist run on the cats? Uh, you can run in there and just grab the key, I think. Um, but the fact of it is, the cats are dangerous, like they say, and so getting rid of them... Like, the purple ones are fine. You don't have to kill those if you don't want to, but the other ones... The other ones are causing the villagers trouble. Oh, uh, the purple ones are not as bad as the black ones, huh? Mm-hmm. So you Why do that. Why does everything gotta be black with that? Back already! I saw you get rid of the wick hat from here. Thanks for that. Hmm. Did you find the key? Hmm? Yay. Good. And it looks as sturdy as ever. Now I can sneak past the guards. But we have to take a little detour first. Huh? The hidden path we need to use is outside the village. Following the right path to the Grand Chris Kajo is the clingy river. There's a small tree. Meet me there. Hmm. 
She's a cool bird lady. Yep. So we're going to walk around down through here. She's heading out of the village too. But we don't really need to wait for her. Mm, excuse me. this little uh, spot with the bridge up here that we saw. Mm -hmm. She is up there waiting for us. Okay. Just come on up here. Follow me, Seeker. Oh, yes. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, I'm doing another uh, yarn project again, as always. We're finally here. Let's act quickly. If I remember correctly, the spot was somewhere here. What are we doing? suddenly came up. Back when I was young, me and the other younglings played here and found this. I believe it was an old escape route built by the founders of our village. Ooh. The important part, we can now get to the chief's den. Up ahead are a lot of wickets, and also something which I believe must be their source. Hmm. I don't know exactly where the source is, but my bet is it's in one of the houses. Well, I read that weird. The others told me it should be very hard to miss, as it looks pretty out of place. The kind of glowing, some kind of glowing pole, they believe. It's an extension from what's cursed, but from that cursed power. Interesting. My hope is that by getting rid of the source, we can put an end to this infestation. <laughs> Seeker, you must go and find this source. I'm sure that by doing so, we can calm the shadow and bring an end to the tension. <laughs> I'll wait here. Come back to me once you're done. Do we have to fight the kittens again? Aww, it should suffice to get rid of the source, but we may not be able to avoid fighting some of the Wiccats this time. Aww. I like Wiccats. This game is cruel. I know. It really is. Oh, yeah. Beating up kittens. off my circuit for a second before getting into another fight just to make it easy. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Ice is also perfectly good for dealing with them. Um, I believe they are. Actually, let me. I'm actually, kind of curious. Uh, Shockat and Wickat. Uh, yeah, Shockats are weak to everything but shock. Uh, Wickats are only weak to wave, which we don't have, so there's no real benefit to using one or the other. Uh, they're equally effective. Strategy! That was a strategy, boys and girls. I do. That is my job, to understand the best way to do things mm -hmm. and show that to you. Yup, yup. So now we're up here. Of course, we're passing a lot of chests, but... down to the basement. <gasps> it's a, it's a pole. Is that the source of the wicked kittens? Ooh. Indeed, summoning, summoning evil black cats on poor villagers. This can't stand. 
we have an agreement that if you get into a fight and you can't read, I will read for you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And that way you can see who's been crushing you like better. So. Not that it's a contest or anything. We got poles that appear. They're electric poles. Or lightning rods. All taken care of. Yay. Not too hard of a fight. Well done. I thought the dojo fight was more than that. Hmm? Hmm. Looks like those are the last of them. Justice has been served! Yay! Just what were those things? Indeed, were they really an extension of the power plant? Very mysterious. Indeed. Well, let's return to that Katara girl for now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, I want to go up around here, I think. Oh, that's right. She's actually waiting for us where we came in. You're back! Did you find this source of the infestation? Hmm. You really did it! Where did you find it? What was it? Uh, you see, it was below... It was below... Oh, yeah, go oh. ahead. It was below the chief's house, and some strange poles that summoned the Wiccats. Mm. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like... That's a great, that's like a great screenshot of just yeah. their faces. Like yeah. Frustrated and confused. That really doesn't sound like something humans could do. Huh? Hmm. This is a sacred place to our people. You better not tell them that you've been here. Been there, blah. But all those big cats there are, when all, well, all those big cats sure are gone suddenly. This is amazing. Let's quickly go to our eldress and tell her the news. If she sees the cats are gone, I'm certain she's shadow will calm down. She's resting in the western part of the village. There's a large tree in the middle of the lake. Come find me there. Mm. I feel like my voice is... It looks out. like my input wasn't needed. <laughs> Leah's expression says it all. Can you use that with mug? Uh, we're just going to warp down here. Probably a fast could do it that way. Child, what is human doing here? Grandmother, I have good news. The Wiccats are history. These secrets helped got rid of the investigation that befell our village. Mm. Oh, this so? Mm. Indeed, it was quite so the... you work with humans against my will? Grandmother, please. Mm. I just wish for peace between our races. I know, child. But defeating Wiccats will be no solution for long. As long as humans poison the jungle, our struggle will continue. Still, it is great relief that our village has been freed. Seeker. Huh? You helped Shad. For that we are thankful. I wish your kindness was more common for your kind. I will order Shad to free away, free way to Sacred Temple. But let your people know, should your poisoning continue and Wiccats return, there will be no more compromises. Hmm. I will go to old home now. Katara, you will come to need to talk. Thank you so much, Seeker. There is not much I can give you, but I have a few human credits. I hope we can meet again. For now, it seems I have a good scolding ahead of me. <laughs> Hey, you know what? We did a brave thing. Yes. And it saved a lot of people. And with that, the quest was completed. <laughs> Justice has been served, for now. Yay. Will it be the last we hear of those black monsters? Only the, fi only the future will tell. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I like how you tried to join those conversations and they just ignored you. Uh, well, yeah. 
I assume it's because Leah is our party leader and the NPCs expect her to not answer in the first place. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we are now free to enter the temples to the north. Mm-hmm. I think we've played enough for today, Polly. Right. It was a good session. Thanks for joining us, Leah. And it also seems you lightened up a little. I'm happy to hear that. Maybe we can play again sometime. Sure. It would be much easier to catch you for another duel that way. Bye. Ah, please give the girl some rest, Polly. All right, for now. Until then, Sphere Leah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, Leah. She made friends. Hi. I did not expect this turn of events, but it seems you got along quite well. <laughs> well then, should we call it today as well? Hmm. All right then. Good night, Leah. Bye. He's still working on programming or some stuff, I think, right? Yep. Sphere Leah, let's go! Aw, she's having dreams of her new butt, her new pals. Odero? You're back again? It's good to see you. No. This is Emily. What are you doing? Well, that, maybe that oh. is him. What oh. are you doing? Leah, what is wrong with you? Why have you been away for so long? Just why can't you explain yourself properly? Who is that? Leah, oh. don't feel bad about it. The fact that you can't talk is part of who you are. And it doesn't make you a bad person. To the contrary, it makes you special. Mm. Because few can listen like you do. Oh, Leah. Good morning, Leah. Hi. Must be a strange feeling waking up in the middle of the jungle like this. Yeah. Any new memories? Mm-hmm. I see. Actually, I would like to ask a few more questions about your previous dream of Safari. What exactly was it that you saw? Do you think you saw Satoshi and Gotham somewhere in Sapphire Ridge? Hmm. Okay. Here is my hypothesis about all this. Could it be that there exists some kind of hidden location somewhere in Sapphire Ridge? Hmm. <gasps> Aha! I figured that, assuming that they are still working on Evotars, they need a place within the playground to properly test them. Now, there is Vermilion Wasteland, which seems to be used for that. But your memories indicate there might be a place like that in Sapphire Ridge as well, correct? Mm. Hopefully, we will find a way to access what it. What place was that? Um, like, just when the, we see the, the giant tea house kind of thing? Yeah, the giant tea house looking thing. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who is that? Hmm? Ah, uh, hello there, Leah. Oh, hey! I'm glad to see you're back again. You've been missed for quite some time. Did you by any chance already do the first mandatory quest of Gaia's Garden? Mm. Oh, nice. That means you can enter the dungeon. Uh, did you finish any of the dungeons already? Mm-mm. Me neither. I was, in fact, uh, planning to run one of them today. So how about we meet up in front of the dungeons? Mm. Okie dokie. I'll be waiting at the Peridot Approach landmark. See you soon. Oh, Citron is back, I see. Does he want to run the dungeon together with you? Uh, I wanted to extend your vocabulary, but I am still not ready. No. Maybe if I hurry up, I can give you another word soon. Mm. Anyway, it will not let Citron wait for too long. Mm-hmm. There we go. Citron. I like Citron. That is a great stopping point. Next time we will be doing some dungeon tackling. Uh, we will go ahead and have the item we need to properly explore all of Guy's garden and Yay! do chest cleanup. We might be able to tackle another quest or two. Cool. Um, so that is our plan. Yay! Hope you guys have enjoyed it and tune in next time. Bye. Bye.